Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you multi-track drum recording in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to record a multi-track drum recording to it. I already have some music to play to, and I've created one track to record the drums to. Now you're probably thinking, that doesn't make much sense. For multi-track recording, you usually want multiple tracks to record to. But in Reaper, I prefer to do this with one track, as we could have as many input channels to it as we want which will make it easier later for comping our takes and creating a final performance. Let's take a look. I've already created this one track. Let's name it Drums. Now we're going to go to the Routing button and add as many channels as we need. I'm going to record a mono kick, a mono snare, stereo toms, stereo overheads, and stereo rooms. So that's eight channels total. So we'll change the amount of channels on this track to eight. Then we're going to turn off the master parent send on this track. So we're not going to hear our drums through this track. We'll create other tracks later just for monitoring our drums. This way we can mix them and process them separately. We're just going to record to this track. So let's close it. So now we're going to record on this track and change our input to be input a channel right here. So it's going to record input one through eight. Then to see our meters more clearly, let's go to the theme adjuster. Go to actions, show action list, type in theme, and then choose to show the theme adjuster, which looks like this. Make sure we choose the track control panel and we'll change the size of our meters. Instead of 20, let's make it 80. So we can see our meters a lot bigger. So now if the drummer plays, we should see level on this track. Assuming we plugged in correctly or our microphones to our computer audio interface. Let's see it. Our first channel is the kick, then the snare, then the toms stereo, the overheads stereo, and the rooms. Notice the level we're recording to, somewhere between minus 18 and minus 12. Any louder, we might clip, and any lower, it might be unusable. So somewhere between 18 and minus 12 is perfect. And we'd adjust this with the input gain on the audio interface. So once that's right, we can create our playback tracks. Let's select this, go to insert, and then we'll insert multiple tracks. Let's change this to five, one for the kick, one for the snare, one for the toms, overheads, and rooms. Insert those tracks, and they show up down here. But we don't need them in the track control panel, because we're not recording to these tracks, we're just using them for monitoring. So let's go to the view menu and choose the track manager. We can see those tracks right here. Let's take these out of the track control panel so they don't show up in here, but they just show up in the mixer. And then our drum track, let's turn it off in the mixer so it just shows up here. And then let's name our tracks. And now if we open up the mixer, here are those tracks we just created. Our kick, snare, toms, overheads, and rooms. But to monitor the drums through these tracks, we need to send the audio from this track to these. And we could do that by going over here to the routing and dragging it and dropping it on the kick. We'll send the mono channel one to the kick. Do the same with the snare, but we'll send mono two, and then stereo for the rest. For the toms, we'll send three and four, 
for the overheads, we'll send five and six. And then for the rooms, we'll send seven and eight. So now we should hear the drums through these tracks. Let's have the drummer play. And we do. But now we can mix the drums to taste. And we can tweak it even more by adding EQ or compression or any processing to the effects on this track. It's not going to affect the recording as we're just monitoring on these tracks. We're still recording to this track. And we're happy with the drum sound. We're ready to record. But before we do that, to make this easier, next time, let's select this track and these. And let's save this as a track template. Right click, save tracks as track template, and we can save all the wiring and all the processing and setting up our inputs so we can use this again. Then we can import it into any project we want to use. So now we're ready to record our drums. Let's turn on the metronome and let's record our first pass. Now we can record another pass and treat them as separate takes, as long as in the options menu, new recording that overlaps existing media items is set to split items and create new takes, which it is by default. So let's record another pass, but I'll skip through it to save time. And let's record one more. Now we have three takes, as we can see up here. And we can switch them just by selecting the item, typing T, take one, take two, and take three. And we could take it out of record and then comp our takes very easily, just by splitting our sections by typing S. Make a bunch of splits and then selecting just the section we want to hear, hit T to switch takes, and that's the take we're hearing.
Hold on shift to adjust our punches. We can redo our edits for different sections of the song and switch takes that easily. And just like that, we can comp our performances to get the best of each one. And we can leave it like this with all our drums on one track while we mix them from here. It's a lot easier than having separate tracks with separate takes to have to switch between. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a multi-track drum recording in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. The ice is gonna break! Oh.